Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can give your Microsoft Azure Fundamental, that is AZ 900 examination for free. For that, you need to register and attend Microsoft Virtual Training Days. For that, you need to check out this link of Microsoft Virtual Training Days. I'll give this link in the description section of this video. On this website, you need to check for the available training days and register yourself. So for fundamentals, I can see these are the upcoming trainings events. So I'll try to register myself for one of the training events. Let's say I'm trying it for 5th and 6th of July. But you know, most of time you'll find this thing that the registration is full, but you don't need to get disappointed and try it for the some other days. So let's say I'll try it for 15th and 16th of July. So this event is also full. So I keep on, I need to keep on trying it. Let's say I'll try for 21st or 22nd. So I can see here the Microsoft Azure Virtual Training Day event for 21st and 22nd of July is available. So I need to register myself, but before registering, you should check out the time over here because this timings are in GMT. This training is for two days, three hours, Per day then you need to register yourself uh, the details are very simple you need to give a first name last name your email address so your email address guys is very 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 important because the email address which you will use for registering or here for the training the same email address you need to use while you are registering for your examination because after giving this two days exam, you're not going to get any voucher or coupon code or something like that. You need to use the same email address. Then only you, you can give your exam for free. So this is a very important thing which you need to remember. You need to give other details like phone number, job role, company name, etc. And then once you click on register now, so you'll get an email from Microsoft saying that your registration for Microsoft Azure Virtual Training Days Fundamentals is confirmed. So you can go and attend your two days virtual training. And once you attend this training, you can go and schedule your exam. To schedule your exam, you can do it by Microsoft Learning Dashboard. So the people who have uh, given Microsoft exam earlier, they may be aware of this dashboard. So in this on this dashboard under exam providers, you will find here the exam provider. You need to select the exam provider. You can go for with Pearson VUE and click on go. So people who don't have this, uh, who don't have the much much idea about uh, learning dashboard, I'll give this link in the description section. So coming back, if you click on go. Here is your Microsoft Learning Dashboard. Here in this Microsoft Learning Dashboard, you can see your email address. So this email address should be the same which you used for uh, attending or registering the trainings. So if you are using the same email address, then only you will get this exam discount of 100%. Actually, this is the 100% because I attended the training 100%. My attendance was 100%. So after that, you can claim over here. You can see here there's an expiry date of 2022. So I gave the training in June 2021. So the expiry is in June 2022. So you get almost an year uh, to claim this exam for free. So once you click on claim, you have to select your exam option. Uh, you can either give it as a test center or you give it at your home or office. So uh, if you are going for home or office, you need to go through this system test. So you need to click on a run system test. So this run system test basically will, uh, will, will run on your system and check your uh, system configuration and uh, your internet connection, connectivity and, and the, the other stuff. At the background guys i think it takes about 10 to 15 minutes okay now before running the system test you need to confirm you need to give this confirmation that 
on the exam day i will be using the same testing space computer and internet connection so this is very 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 important to remember so once that system test is done you will get such a message that the system test is done then you need to also agree on the exam policies before proceeding further and then you simply you need to select a language of your exam and also the language uh, you prefer the proctor to speak with you so maybe japanese or english so accordingly you can select and then you need to schedule your exam so schedule your exam on a date so when you schedule your exam on a day uh, there are two timings you can see here the start timing and the check-in time so uh, if the start time is 4 pm your check-in time should be 3 30 pm because you should check in half an hour before that is 30 minutes before your start time this is very important thing to be remembered so you can proceed to check out you can see here when i'm proceeding to check out the subtotal is 3696 ru indian rupees and i'm getting discount of the same that is 3696 rupees so i'm paying nothing so this is a discount i'm getting because i have attended microsoft training days then I need to click on proceed to check out and then I'll get my invoice on email as well for the exam. And also the exam is for 80 minutes. So also remember this thing for the exam about 40 to 45 questions are there. So you get about 80 minutes to complete your exam. Then you also e receive emails uh, for the instructions regarding the exam. So which all IDs are acceptable and uh, you need to also go through this that you can use your passport, driving license, etc. So on the day of the exam, what all things you need to do, these are the instructions for that. Uh, if you also have the instructions if you in case you want to reschedule or cancel your exam and there are certain rules while while your test is going on that you should not use any mobile phone or a uh, watch or uh, you know there should be no one in your room uh, the room should be why, uh, quite quiet only because uh, there should be no disturbance when you're giving the exam otherwise uh, you won't be able to clear that exam so these things you should remember when you're giving your exam online from home or from your office so this is a very important thing guys you should remember so i always also recommend that once you get such an email uh, you know go through that email go through the instructions quite thoroughly which will definitely help you while giving your exam and this is the confirmation email you will get it uh, from pearson regarding your exam so it's an 80 minutes exam as i told you and once you click on uh, check in to start exam uh, you can you can go and start your exam at this scheduled time also you can see the exam scheduled on your microsoft learning dashboard and once you complete your exam you will get such a message on your microsoft learning dashboard that congratulations on passing uh, exam az 900 microsoft Azure fundamentals and under the certificate section if you click on view certificate uh, you can also view the certificate uh, from microsoft but this certificate guys take about uh, maybe a day or two to appear sometimes maybe more than two days so we have patience for that so guys i'll stop here this is what i want to show you uh, in this video so i hope that this video will encourage you to give this exam grab this opportunity and learn a new things about uh, microsoft azure as well so i'll stop here guys and uh, we'll catch up you in the next video till then bye thanks and best of luck